what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel today is the day very very exciting we are going to finish up and put the fender flares on my wrangler from road armor so if you guys remember i had the chair sitting up over here and we were showing the difference between my new road armor fender and the stock fender flares so if you remember we had a problem with the clear coat in the last video so julio's over there he's finishing up the final touches on that one while he's doing that i'm going to install the rear fenders uh, and then start installing the front driver fender with the inner fender liner. So I'm very, very excited to get started on this. So let's stop talking and start installing. So we did have to drill out a couple of these holes uh, that are in the body. I didn't bring my mojito touch-up paint, so we're just gonna dab it up a little bit with uh, some black uh, just on the inside there so it doesn't rust. All right, well, even though I forgot the mojito touch-up paint at home, I forgot that we were painting that last flare, so I do have some paint. So we're just gonna hit these holes that I drilled out here with some mojito paint, that way they don't rust. Okay, so we just finished up the driver side rear fender, but here's the passenger side. Stock fender, a little rounded. Then when we walk around here, boom. There is the road armor rear fender. And oh my God, does that look good. I really love the angles that this thing has. All in all, the mount, it mounted pretty easy. Uh, you guys can see the bolts right here. Uh, and there's two carriage bolts uh, in the back there. Uh, there is a Road Armor rear fender liner, but I didn't go with that just yet uh, because you do have the option of using the factory fender liner. So, uh, forewarning, I did have to cut the inner fender liner uh, for for the rear flares. So, uh, if anybody is interested, uh, just know that I did have to cut uh, the back side of this uh, plastic off, which is fine because I think you should be able to just pop that off. Yeah, these, these rivets here. Should be able to just pop that off and use your uh, factory like lower molding there. Uh, the rear fender took me a little bit longer because uh, I haven't installed those ones yet. Uh, I have installed the Root Armor front fenders on another Jeep and they install much easier uh, than the back. Uh, not to say that the back is hard, just took a little bit more uh, tools and stuff like that. But we are gonna move on to the driver's side front fender. I do this there's really no going back because uh, <laughs> I do have to remove the factory mounts for the flare so once I get rid of these mounts um, I will only be able to mount the factory flare uh, with these two up here and then uh, you know along the body line there so it won't be as sturdy without these so it's it's kind of heartbreaking that I have to uh, tear those off my baby but uh, it's got to be done
So I got half of the Jeep done and wow, does that make a big difference. I left the other half on to show you guys the difference between the factory and then the road armor flares. And I really think you guys are gonna like this. Here we go on the back, factory, rear flare, factory, front flare. And then when we go to the other side, boom. Those flares make a huge difference. I think I'm gonna have to tint this out just a little bit, but for right now, I don't mind it. It looks really good. And wow, in person this color matches like perfectly. Still gonna wet sand it, make it a little bit smoother, but uh, damn, these flares look so freaking good. They look so aggressive. You look at those, the angles, look at how much more space. It looks like already, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna need a bigger wheel and tire setup because there's so much space up behind there. We can see just here how low this one is compared to how much clearance this gives you because it angles out and up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the other side on real fast. You guys already saw the install of the driver's side. So I'm gonna skip all that for you and we'll just go right ahead to where all the flares are on. And here we are guys, next day uh, I actually Wanted to wait till the next day because it was so rainy uh, that night when we finished these fenders, putting them on and putting the fender liners in, uh, that you guys wouldn't get the full effect. And in the sun with the color match, oh my God, these things look amazing. And I know on the camera, the, the fenders look a little bit lighter, but in person, it's like a perfect match. So hopefully if any of you are going to be down at Jeep Beach or uh, Daytona Truck Show, you guys will get to see this in person and see how good these fenders look, especially when you color match them. So uh, I hope you guys are ready because uh, the sun's just about setting. We got a little bit more light and uh, it's hitting this thing just right. So I hope you guys enjoy. So there you go guys, there is what we have all been waiting for. Uh, I know it has been painstaking for me. Uh, I know Ryan was, was kind of itching to put these on as well because he really wanted to see them with the color match. But you can see they turned out so amazing, especially with those inner fender liners as well. Uh, you have this extra piece here uh, in the back it bolts up you can actually paint this uh, it's just a steel plate paint this whatever color you want uh, I just went with green I was thinking about maybe eventually changing it to red to match the Rubicon logo and then the hood decal as well but for right now I like the green and as Ryan's demonstrating right now these are not only the side markers but they are also the turn signals so the switchback LED is probably the best one I've seen in the aftermarket uh, everybody else looks like they're going with just like this little tiny circle dot LED that kind of sticks up in here, but this one looks the closest to the factory uh, LED that comes straight across here. And I just love how aggressive these fenders look. And not only on the fronts, but the rear as well. You can see they're just a bit thinner, a lot more angular. And then the road armor emblem on the back there. And they just turned out so amazing. Julio did a great job of painting these. Now, as far as the installation, these went on pretty simple. Uh, I mean, just took a couple of bolts. Uh, you guys saw that in the video. Uh, I did have to do a little bit of drilling just to make the, uh, the holes wide enough for the bolts to go in, but other than that, super, super simple. I think I got the front fender down to like, I mean, a half hour to do the one front fender, and then the inner fender liner about another Another 45 minutes or so. It, it did uh, did give me a little bit of trouble, but uh, I think that's just because I bedlined them. So when I bedlined them, they you know they have a little bit of thickness to them, a little more texture. So uh, they just gave me a little bit more trouble, but that could just be uh, because of the bedliner I put on there. So it could be just me. But other than that, they went in pretty easy as well, and you can see 
the result is amazing. Now they do come, you can get them in raw steel or you can get them in black powder coating from Road Armor. I did like the black powder coating that came on them. They, they I mean, it was really nice and tight and it didn't have a ton of texture to it, but I definitely felt like it was gonna hold up well. But personally, I just think the color match look just looks so, so, so much better. So these fenders just took a little bit longer, mostly because the one fender kept giving us trouble. Uh, as you guys saw in the last video, is actually this passenger front fender. Uh, the clear coat just, it just didn't dry overnight right and it was a little bit runny um, and I mean that's not to say that these are perfectly painted by any means just yet we do still have some wet sanding to do uh, and then to buff and polish them to get them completely done and looking fresh that just comes with the woes of doing it yourself I could have just sent these flares out to a paint shop uh, and body shop or anything like that, had them paint it and got it back a couple days, bolted it up, no problem. Um, but again, it's just about the experience, doing stuff yourself and learning, you know, a new technique or like a new skill that you haven't done before. We were lucky enough that our friend Julio had a paint gun and he had the experience with painting stuff. I mean, granted, for doing it in a garage, these turned out really, really good. But again, we did it ourselves in the garage and I think that just makes it a little bit more rewarding when you know you know you did something yourself instead of just had it ship out and stuff like that and if you run into problems you know exactly what you know you're dealing with but i am so so happy with oh there it is the sun hitting it oh my gosh you can see how well that matches I don't think we even have to polish this one, honestly. You can see the Rubicon logo <laughs> reflecting off of it. But wow, I am so, so happy with how these turned out. So much more aggressive on the front end. It does make my tires look so small. I mean, but that's just the high clearance fender flares for you. So now that we finally got the fender flares done, uh, we only have like three weeks until Jeep Beach. Uh, there is a lot that we have to do. A lot that we have to put on, put together. Uh, I think my wheels are getting painted this week. I hope that they're gonna be shipped and in this week. So that means wheels, tires, um, you know, it's in its teenage year, so it might need a, to go through its growth spurt here in a couple days. Uh, so uh, there is a lot to do before Jeep Beach. Uh, I think with my rendering, uh, I kind of went a little bit overboard and did not expect that how much work was going to be able to go into uh, the Wrangler. So I think I'm going to be doing two versions of this build. So the Jeep Beach version, uh, V1 if you will. Uh, it's getting ready and tucked up and uh, everything's kind of getting finalized. V2 will probably be a little crazier, much like Ryan's truck over here. If you guys follow his channel, you guys know. I mean, his truck is big enough as it is, but uh, his new suspension that came in, wheels, tires, I mean, this thing's about to get nutty. So uh, we're just uh, in the beginning stages with the Wrangler here, but uh, so far, I am so pleased with the road armor flares. I think that they did a killer job with the style of them. And I think that they did a killer job with the mounting of them because they mounted so easy and so straightforward. Um, it's, I think it's, it's one of the things that you could probably do in your garage, you know, by yourself in one night and you will be surprised at how much of a difference it makes. Anyways, I think that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I think it turned out killer. <laughs> Ryan, turn on the turn signal again. I think it turned out killer. I am in love with these flares and I cannot wait to build this thing even more because it's just gonna look so great when it's finally done. Now, if I'm uh, correct in my math here, by the time this video goes up, I will have 5,000 subscribers. So I do wanna thank all of you guys for subscribing to this channel. If you have not been here already, please get down there, hit subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know if you like the flares and let me know what you think I should do with this build in V2. So since we hit 5,000 subscribers, we will be doing the RBP giveaway, so stay tuned for that. And uh, things are about to get crazy in the next couple days before Jeep Beach. So thank you guys again for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one.